Scarlet Witch's pocket reality in WandaVision episode 7 starts to glitch, and she can't really do anything to fix it, here's the reason why. For my reckless evening, I plan on taking a quarantine-style staycation. Scarlet Witch's pocket reality glitches continuously in WandaVision episode 7, breaking the fourth wall and for some reason, she couldn't do anything about it. As the Marvel Studios Disney Plus show slowly inches toward its end, sustaining the hex is getting more and more difficult due to various reasons. From Sword's infiltration to Vision's attempt to come out of the pocket reality, Wanda has been able to keep it together until now, when she starts to lose control over her hold over the bubble. ...to have all the answers, right? <laughs> Well, I don't. What started off as a move to begin an ideal suburbia life with Vision has slowly become a nightmare for Scarlet Witch and WandaVision. Despite it being very obvious that there was something wrong with Westview from the very beginning, she was at least able to keep things together inside the hex. But they'll be fine. Vision is made of vibranium. They literally inherited tough skin. It's still not clear how the Maximoff anomaly began as Wanda repeatedly claimed that she's actually unsure how she's able to do all this. Following the reveal that friendly neighbor Agnes is really Agatha Harkness and the series' secret villain all along, this is somewhat explained. Still, it doesn't diminish Wanda's attachment to the pocket reality, considering how lonely and grief-stricken she'd felt before it, as she confessed to Evan Peters Pietro. That man said he is not your uncle. So, even if Agnes Agatha was secretly manipulating her to maintain the bubble, it's safe to assume that Scarlet Witch was already motivated to sustain this fantasy reality. This is why in the latest episode of WandaVision, Wanda was frustrated upon discovering that she was unable to stop the pocket reality from glitching. She's the one who created this fantasy in Westview, so why exactly wasn't she able to fix the malfunctioning hex? It goes back to what happened during the last moments of Episode 6, All New Halloween Spectacular. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Where she expanded the mystical barrier of her pocket reality impulsively to save Vision from dying beyond the Hex's border. Not only did she stretch out the scope of her illusion, but she also took in more people in via the sword agents, and for them to function in line with the idealized life she wants to live, she needs to somehow control them as well. I'm That obviously took a toll on Scarlet Witch as seen in the opening scene of Episode 7, she's been drained, thus making it difficult for her to keep the bubble intact. I'm your mom. And as such, you were counting on me to have all the answers, right? Back in WandaVision Episode 3, now in color, the Hex also started malfunctioning when Scarlet Witch was in distress due to her pregnancy contractions. Inside their home, things were crazy, but it was revealed that other houses in Westview apparently also had some mishaps at the same time. The the Hence how Monica Rambo, aka Geraldine, found herself in the Vision residence, borrowing a bucket because the pipes in their ceiling burst. While she was able to keep Geraldine from discovering that she's pregnant, Scarlet Witch had a hard time and ultimately failed to get rid of the stork that mysteriously came to life and signaled the pending arrival of her twin sons. <laughs> this backs up the idea that when distracted or exhausted, Wanda is having a more difficult time preserving the illusion. If things went smoothly in Westview and Scarlet Witch did not have to deal with unexpected issues to keep the hex up, it's fair to wonder if living inside it would actually be sustainable for her. As previously mentioned, in the first few episodes of WandaVision, she didn't have that much of an issue turning back to time when things don't go her way or when she wanted something changed. Now that there are both internal and external factors threatening her fantasy world, there's a smaller chance that she can go back to the ideal suburbia life she was living before. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. It's probably just a case of the Mondays.